starting with Jixi. How's it going guys, Jixi here with another video and this video is going to be a little bit different than a usual uh, video on my channel. It's just because this is going to be a guide on Skeletal Wyverns. Now you may be asking yourself why is he making a guide on this. Now I have ideas of other videos to make and they're still not posted yet so those are coming pretty soon and plus those that want to make quick cash and wanting to train their stats and stuff like that this isn't even bad money making it can be 750k to 1 mil an hour on these babies and they're pretty good money you can even get a chance to get a visage so it's pretty good money anyway guys we're gonna do show you guys the odd the weird odd steps on how to get them it's a little bit odd and in order kind of in order but not really so sh we're gonna show you what you guys need to bring there and what the gear uh, recommend I'm going to show you two different gear setups now the cheap version and the average version but then the expensive you know good version is I can afford that but I would have to sell everything to show you guys now um, that being that's going to take a while for uh, me to do that so I'm going to show you two of the styles that most people use so and this is for melee obviously so I'm not doing range I'll probably do range in the, in the future but uh, we're just sticking with melee right now so anyway, to begin with the um, video, we're going to show you the gear setups, we're going to show you how you get there, and also once there, we're going to show you why you should kill them, uh, the recommended stats of killing them, and also what you should bring. Um, basically, I just got over that at the beginning, so let's go ahead and start. And so what you guys need to bring is, um, for the average set for most users that can most afford, uh, now this is excluding the DFS. Uh, let's just pretend you have the elemental shield, but this is for an average player kind of. Uh, you want to bring a Varix Helm for prayer use. Uh, you want to bring a Amia uh, Fury. You want to bring um, anything better than Amia Fury or uh, Amia Fury. And then Fire Cape, why not? I mean, or Skill Cape. Uh, a Whip. Uh, you can use hostas, but whips are much better preferred and a little bit cheaper on the um, your side on a perspective side. Uh, Darox body, just you can replace that with a Torex body or just a torso. I just do that with the for the defense. Uh, DFS obviously. Now you have to use a DFS or an elemental shield because they have the special ice breathing power. If you get hit with it without a shield, you'll get like hit a bunch. Anyway, a Varex plate skirt. Again, for prayer usage, barrels gloves. Any uh, recipe for disaster uh, gloves will be good, but recommended is barrels gloves. If not, grab rune, dragon, etc. Dragon boots. Um, really, you don't really need any special type of boots. You need dragon boots. I mean, you could go with uh, bandos boots, but again, we're not going for any defense. We're going for uh, a range defense. Therefore, we're not going for range defense. We're going for most strength bonus and then defense in general. Berserker ring imbued, uh, or a regular berserker ring, either one. Or you could do um, either a ring of wealth, or you can wield your ring of dueling. I'll explain in a second why you need a ring of uh, dueling. And then an empty open slot, so you can put some arrows in there so you get extra ammo. Now this is the average set. We'll come back to you guys when we have the uh, cheaper set for the players that can mostly afford it. We'll come right back to you guys. All right, guys, we are back with the cheaper version. The people that can most uh, afford it now, obviously, fire cape and the barrels gloves is very you know you anyone can afford it that you've done the mini game for. So let's go ahead and skip those items. So what you want to bring if you are willing, if you can afford this only, uh, you want to bring helm netsia. Uh, it's good for prayer. Uh, that's why we also we try to use as much prayer bonus as we can because you bring at least one or two prayer potions. Uh, we'll show you the inventory setup for each uh, uh, setup. Usually it's about the same, but we'll go ahead and continue with the gear setup on this one. Amula Glory. Uh, you can use charged or not. Just quicker teleports uh, to Edgeville if you don't have like a home teleport or anything like that. Again, we'll explain to you in a minute of why you want to go to Edgeville or the fastest place to travel. We'll show you two different ways on traveling. Um, Dragon Scimitar is another is a good uh, weapon. You can you replace that for a whip if you have the attack um, attack level for it. But then again, you can use the Dragon Scimitar again because it's much it's aggressive as well. 
Uh, room plate body, again, defense. Um, room plate legs, also really good for defense. Elemental shield. Now, this is the shield that you want to use, the cheaper side of the shield that you want to ne you need to use in order to kill these things because otherwise you'll just get one hit or etc. You'll just die or you won't even be able to attack them. Uh, Barrel's gloves, we already went over those. Uh, dragon boots, again, you can use room boots if you can't afford these. Uh, dragon boots is a really good one. Uh, Ring of dueling. Uh, you need this again to keep traveling back and forth to clan wars so you can recharge your stats So let's go ahead and co go back to you guys to the inventory setup uh, Inventory setup is pretty much the same as the cheaper gear setup. So let's go ahead and show you guys the inventory setup Alrighty guys, here's the setup of your inventory on pretty much any gear layout uh, depending on if you have the higher version I'm sure you can avo uh, afford the higher higher end uh, weapons and stuff like that but we're going ahead and show you the average and then the cheap which is pretty much the same inventory now if you can afford all this then you should be good I mean you should be good if you can afford the, your whole gear setup and you, you need extra money pretty much to just do this can't just go in without food anyway monkfish is pretty good um, you want to start with uh, one super combat potion one stamina just for longer distances of running uh, at least two or one uh, per potion you can substitute that for food or you can substitute that for um, so a different spec weapon but we recommend the dragon mace just because it's more accurate on these things and I just hear that just it just hits harder and I get lucky with these because I hit like 50s in rows usually and it's the same spec as a dragon dagger now the ring, ring of dueling when you obviously you want your full of inventory and your stats are degraded uh, you want to go ahead and teleport the clan wars and go ahead and jump into that white portal uh, free for all and then you jump back out and then you will be uh, there at you know recharged and pretty much go again for round two uh, the Draymond staff now if you've already done uh, fairy tales part two or at least started fairy tales part two uh, you can go ahead and use the Draymond staff and then go ahead and use the uh, uh, runescape wide um, fairy fairy rings if that makes sense so we'll go ahead and show you the first way to get there how I like getting there is the fastest uh, usually I like to have at least two home teleports on me because I have Edgeville teleport and I can always teleport to Edgeville uh, Edgeville seems like it's the closest fairy ring to me uh, so let's go ahead and go to the fairy ring uh, equipped your Draymond staff or Lenore, uh, uh staff either one or if you have the equipped you know heart the elite diaries done for it then you can go ahead and just jump into it go ahead and use it again when you get to this spot and then you want to do a i q which is mud skipper point this is where the skeleton wyverns is located you're here now once here go north and then you will be followed to this like hill slash trap door and the smithing place thurgo and this dungeon right here what you want to do is obviously go into this dungeon up on this hill. Uh, you can drink your stamina potion so you're not running out of run. And climb down this door trap. Uh, trap door. Go ahead and run um, west. Then north. Keep going north until you see a opening which is to your east. The first, the first right. And depending on which way you're looking at the screen. Uh, keep going east into this ice e cave area keep on going keep on going keep on going you may get hit a little bit on these ice guards uh, that's okay then you once you hit east go ahead it'll go a little bit southeast and um, then you're here uh, then you enter the icy cave and then the skeleton wyverns are on the other side they are aggressive so be aware you might get this warning message uh, so yeah let me show you guys the other way that you guys could go so I'll be right back Okay, just from looking at the map on your RuneScape uh, OS buddy, or just if you have a RuneScape map next to you, uh, wherever you're located in the RuneScape world, uh, the closest place you can go to is teleporting to Drainer Village. If you have a Glory, or teleporting to Valdor, um, then you can run uh, pretty much south, I believe this is, and then to Port Sarium, and then keep going south and south, and then until you see the hill that we just went into with that dungeon sign. Um, easiest for me, if you have a house too, uh, in Remington, go ahead and enter your house and then exit it and just run north, northeast down here. Um, again, if not, you can go start from Lumbridge and walk all your way here. Uh, there's many ways of getting here and then you can also, if you're around another port, another dock, even Kamajar, and you're closer to the dock, then you can teleport, then you can obviously, 
you know, sail to Port Sarum. Anywhere if you're in the RuneScape world, you could sail to here, sail to here, and uh, depending on where you're at. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get back to you guys when we have a wyvern, and we're gonna show you guys the upper level of the reason why you can't go up there or in the tower. All right, once in the cave, when you guys enter the cave, you can go ahead and do the melee side. There, there's different sides now. On the west side is they call it melee side and the other side is called the ranger side because you can safe spot it Anyway, you go here come down uh, where my mouse is go from the cave all the way down to west And then you're here attack them go ahead and pot up and then you can flick piety if you have piety Okay, once killed you can obviously go ahead and pick up your bones uh, bones or 3k 3.2k each So it's really worth picking them up uh, So we'll come back to you guys when we have like a half inventory Alrighty guys, we're basically almost done, so we're going to go ahead and kill this last wyvern, depending on what we get. Hopefully we get something good. Um, you know, and then they freeze you, so don't, you may be annoyed by that. Um, don't worry, and most of you people probably already know that. Um, but hopefully you guys have been liking these series and these kind of videos I've been making. Um, I do have another merch merching video coming out pretty fairly soon. I've already made the video It's just I need to edit it and upload it. So that'll be pretty soon um, Hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say about this wyvern guide and the uh, recommended stats for this uh, This particular monster will probably be in the middle of the video. I know you guys have probably already saw that uh, Whoa, whoa Okay BRB Alright guys, that was a successful uh, trip of the Skeletal Wyverns. Let's go ahead and check how much money we made in just one trip. Usually it's about 150k to 350k unless you get really lucky. Um, so these should be almost 55k, so that's a good... Uh, we got two per potion from it, so that's a good 79k right now. Uh, magic Logs, already uh, 80, another 80k with that. Earth Battle Staff is like 10k, and this is like 12k or 9k, so we made a okay money within like 12 minutes uh, that can be a little bit better but that's 178k um, which is not that bad so we'll go ahead and bank that um, we'll come back to you guys when we have everything going and yep alrighty guys that's it for the re rest of the video and uh, she's finally upstairs now eating her ice cream after we ran like four miles isn't that right Brie? Yep, she just thinks she's all that. She's gonna, you know. What kind of flavor is that? Coffee. Coffee, coffee ice cream. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are like, oh, that feels so good. You know, sounds so good. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a guide on how to do skeletal wyverns. Um, you need uh, 72 Slayer. I'll put all the information in the description below. I may have not listed every single thing you needed at the beginning of the video because I just got caught off guard by just giving you guys gear setups and stuff like that. So everything will be in the description below. And uh, if you guys have any comments, concerns, or questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below, and I'll answer the best I can. Um, hope you guys have a good night or whatever time of day it is right now you're watching this video and yeah Is there anyone to say? Fuck. She don't say anything now But she, she I've been trying to play her play runescape anyway So we're out of luck so we'll come back to you guys when we find it Did that just happen? Okay, they bought pretty much instantly, so let's go ahead and sell them back.